Welcome, welcome. So for this episode, I figured let's do a non-tying episode. So I decided to check out an anime I found called Metal Skin Panic Madox-01. Metal Skin Panic Maddox-01 is a 1987 original video animation, or OVA for any non-anime fans out there, and it was produced by AIC, Zoe Shinsha, and Pony Canyon. It was also one of the first anime released to direct a video by Anamigo for the United States. Furthermore, it was written and directed by Shinji Aramaki as his directorial debut, as he would later go on to direct the the Appleseed films, the Ultraman anime, and Blade Runner Black Lotus. And with all that out of the way, let's check out the video. So the OVA begins with a badass opening scene as we see Tess being run on a mech suit and we see every piece of detail being done. Then we transition to a war-torn battlefield as we see the mech suit in action as it goes up against some tanks. This video has no right to go this hard. Mm. I have no right to be this hard. What the fuck are you doing in my house? Well, it turns out that it was a simulation to showcase the U.S. Army's new combat unit, the Slave Trooper Maddox-1. And we meet Eli Kuzumuro, the pilot and developer of the Maddox. And we meet our antagonist, Lieutenant Kilgore, an American soldier who has a real hate boner for the Maddox because he got his ass handed to him in the simulator. Today you were lucky, but this isn't over. I'll have my revenge, I swear it. Not on you, but on that wind-up toy. Remember this, next time, it won't be your remote-controlled game. WHAT AN ASSHOLE! After that confrontation, the Madox is being transported, and a tired driver crashes the convoy transporting the Madox, which causes a fiery explosion, and the Madox flies into a nearby dump truck. Then we meet our pro tag of the video, Koji Sugimoto, a young mechanic at a car maintenance shop, and his friend, Tahuro Onese, the dude from earlier, who shows him the Madox that landed in his truck. Say, what do you think it is? Koji, aren't you an engineering major? Onose, I'll take charge of this. Huh? But, well then, what is it? It has warning stickers all over it. It's just a piece of junk somebody threw away. Dude, did you not read who that belongs to? And apparently it was made by the Walt Disney Productions and Ripley Scott? And it's a sequel to 2001 A Space Odyssey? The fuck? This is absolutely unthinkable. See, even General Rusty Shackleford can't believe this shit. But in all seriousness, the military is in disbelief and blames the incident on terrorists. And keep in mind, this was in the 80s, so that means it was Hans Gruber's fault. <laughs> Who said we were terrorists? However, Ellie blames herself for the incident and for leaving the Madox on scramble mode and insists on retrieving the Madox herself. But her superior rest assures that the army should retrieve it instead, which sounds good until we learn who's leading the recovery unit. That's me. Lieutenant Kilgore. Surprised. Don't worry, our objective is recovery. Oh, I won't break it. Well, we're bone. Anyways, Koji and Onose bring the Madox back to Koji's apartment. Also, Onose passes a message to Koji that is from Koji's girlfriend, Nagara Shiori. She called this morning and asked me to give you a very important message. 
She said, I'll be waiting on the observation floor of the NSR building in West Shinjuku at 8 o'clock tonight. And from here, Onose leaves from the OVA. Then Koji begins to inspect the Madox while reading the manual that came along with it. He opens the suit and gets in, but suddenly the Madox shuts Koji inside, causing it to alert the military of its whereabouts. And we get some anime-style shenanigans. <laughs> like I've stopped. Excuse me? Huh? Uh, yes, I'll take this, please. Can you warm it up in a microwave? <laughs> After that shit, we get an anime flashback over how Koji kinda broke up with his girlfriend, Shiori, when she tells him that she's being sent to study abroad by her father in England for three years. Also, why does she look familiar to me? Inuyasha! Anyways, Koji decides to meet Shiori in the Madox suit because he's dressed to impress. Meanwhile, the recovery unit is deployed to Koji's location, and Ellie isn't liking this shit with Lieutenant Kilgore. It's not worth turning Tokyo into another Vietnam. Tokyo or Vietnam, it's all the same battlefield to me. It's the perfect jungle in which to blow away your pretty Madox. WHAT AN ASSHOLE! So Ellie takes matters into her own hands and suit up into her own Madox suit. And at the same time, Koji is in traffic giving these assholes some karma. Hit the lane! Ooh. Then the recovery unit arrives and surrounds Koji and he throws a fucking car engine at them. Dude, are you trying to get killed? And an Apache helicopter shoots Koji's ass and the Madox auto defense system fires back. The right arm's moving on its own. Let's go! It wasn't me, it did that on its own! Good luck convincing them that shit. Then more helicopters arrive to shoot Koji and he books it by heading towards the subway entrance. He manages to get a breather and finds directions to the NSR building. However, Ellie arrives and we get a Mexu fight slash chase. Then Ellie tries to talk to Koji about why he has this suit. What exactly do you hope to gain? Why are you causing this uproar? You're the ones who are causing an uproar! I'm just... You're just... Just what? Oh, none of your business. Seriously dude, you're just digging yourself a hole already. Just give in. Koji then shoots Ellie and we get a cool dark hallway scene that would give Netflix a hard on. That was one of the dumbest fucking things I've ever seen in my life, and I loved it. While that is going on, Lieutenant Kilgore arrives. Make it smooth and I'll buy the cake! It's the perfect ring for a return match. Also, am I the only one getting diehard vibes? Anyways, Ellie manages to catch Koji with a grappling dick. I'm serious, just look at it. And after some robot fisticuffs, Ellie manages to shut down the Madox suit, and she realizes that Koji is just some helpless boy. Who are you? Just what exactly are you trying to do? I'm Sugimoto Koji, a sophomore at Kanto Institute. This thing is what's causing all the commotion. It swallowed me up, and then it shot up a helicopter all on its own. And Ellie believes him given the situation. However, Lieutenant Kilgore is coming after them. And we cut to see Shiori making a call. Boring! Anyways, back to some mecha shit where Ellie and Koji are descending to the ground floor. However... 
ambush! It's a trap! It's a trap! Well, we're bone. Fortunately enough, they escape, but Ellie's suit is heavily damaged, and she gives Koji some advice on the Madox suit, so he can battle Kilgore. And we get our final duel between Koji and Kilgore. Huh? Welcome, Madox. The opening act is over. That's him. It's time for the main event. Couldn't agree more. Unfortunately, Koji can only run away as Kilgore is too cray cray. Then Koji gets distracted as he spots Shiori and Kilgore blasts him. <laughs> run! Run! You've got nowhere to go, Madox! So finally, Koji grows a pair and fights Kilgore. Back for more. Okay, now he's trying to be Orochimaru, and Koji thinks outside the metal box as he shoots the support beams on the bridge that Kilgore is on to drop him. However, Kilgore tangles Koji and grappling hooks. Not bad for a moron, eh? If I fall, you go with me. There's no escape! Also, is me or does this scene look familiar? Oh, no explosion? Hold on, let me fix it. No! And the day is saved as Koji reunites with Shiori, and the video ends. And that was Metal Skin Panic Madox 1. As far as I can tell, I couldn't find any information if this was a hit or not. What I did find is that in April 30th, 2021, a Kickstarter was launched for a Blu-ray release of the OVA, which was successful, and you can tell as I'm using that version. Also, it was influential as American internet satirist George Ozunian, author of The Best Page in the Universe, said that he created his pen name Madox after this anime. And that's all the information I could find on this anime. So now what do I think of it? Well, I'm kind of split on it. On one hand, I do enjoy watching these old school 80s anime, and the animation is still great, even for the 80s. As I mentioned before, the opening scene does show how the mech suit was made in great detail and the OVA even came with a short documentary showing how they got the weapons like the helicopters and the tanks down to a T and the action is badass and the soundtrack is good too on the other hand the characters do seem one dimensional and honestly I didn't find Koji that interesting nor do I give a shit about his romance with Chiori as we barely got any chemistry between them and honestly I think Ellie should have been the main pro tag as she is more interesting than Koji as she developed the mech suit and knows how to use it but overall I still enjoyed it and the best way I can summarize this OVA is short but sweet so I give this video 3 out of 5 Madox suits and that was the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos just like this. Stay safe out there. Goodbye. Come on now! I want Diesel! Fill her up! Fill her up!